almost here's to the quality there always seems to be one in american women's gymnastics the it girl to some it's a tired phrase but there's nothing tired about this woman's game this is sean johnson and marta caroli is watching her every move in a national sense she has won every single competition she has entered up next for her the next great chance on a world stage the world championships from middle america she has worldwide dreams nbc sports presents the 2007 world gymnastics championships delivered by at&t we welcome you to the hans martin schleierhalle in stuttgart germany al trowick olympic gold medalist tim daggett and elfie schlegel as we begin our coverage with samantha pezik from mccordsville indiana Tim, are you surprised she's on the team? Well, a little bit. She didn't have the best national championships, and believe it or not, this is the only thing she'll do today, the vault. But she's a dynamic, dynamic athlete on this event. Reminds me of Anya Hatch. The only thing she did at the 2004 Olympic Games in the team finals also was vault. And I think Sam has really proven herself here at the championships because in the qualification, she had an outstanding competition. And as Tim said, this is her strength. This is all she'll do today. And her score is a 15.05. Three women on each apparatus, and there are four of those. All scores count. And now we get our first look at Sean Johnson. How will she handle the world stage about a year away from the Olympic Games? Well, she did not have the best competition in the qualifying. She made a very uncharacteristic mistake on the last event, put her hands down on the uneven bar. She told us right after the competition was over that that mistake, it taught her a lesson. She's got to go harder. Same vault as Samantha Pejic. Very nice, great power and, and perfect form in the air. Just obviously that big step on the landing. And when you're looking at perfection at this level of the game, especially at the World Championships, this is a vault that is going to be extremely popular at these worlds. It's a double twist. What would set her apart is sticking the landing to just get that little extra tenth or two. And that she did not do. 15.15. Now, if there is an American woman who has really upped her game, really snickered down and really just change the way she approaches the sport it's this woman alicia sacrimony who's a little old by women's gymnastics standards at 19 but she's got that flash and panache that you only seem to get when you turn past the age of 16 and 17. huge ball right here explosive nobody in the world does it like that phenomenal power on the vault and you know you, you talked about the passion that she has al a lot of times that comes from not having the dream come true and that's exactly what happened to her at the 2004 in her quest to make an olympic team she didn't even make it to the final olympic trials she's on track now and it doesn't matter how old you are because when you get a score like 15.75 that's going to do wonders for this team now meanwhile while that was happening the romanian rebuilding effort suffers a setback this is sandra Izbaza on the uneven bars and uneven bars is always the nemesis for the romanian women's gymnastics team they've gotten a little bit better some of their technique is is not as precise their handstands aren't great and you see that right there lots of changes in gymnastics there's no 10-0 anymore you can score higher than a 10. Also, the deductions are much more strict. Eight tenths of a point is what it cost her for putting her hands down. Back to the vault and the Chinese effort. Now remember, Beijing, that's where it's all going to happen. No maybes. They want certainty. And actually, it's uh, ironic because there are a lot of maybes on this Chinese team. A lot of maybes and a lot of babies. They've brought a very young very little international experience. This is only her second time ever competing outside of China. They thought it was important to put them on the world stage and give them that experience because they, frankly, these young kids, they're the best ones they got. Yang Yi Lin, the judges didn't like it, 14.425. Meanwhile, an update on what Russia has been doing. This is earlier on the uneven bars, Senia Semenova. 
She actually has a huge bar routine. Second highest level of difficulty in the world at this point in time, 7.2. She actually had the highest score after the team qualification day. Very confident young lady. Says she will be Olympic champion on the uneven bars. Dynamic set, great dismount. Seminova 16.325. Wow, that is out of the ballpark. Back to the story of China on the vault. This is Chung Fei. And this right here is very, very bad news for China. Right there, she does the big vault, but that will cost eight tenths of a point. In the qualifying, she scored almost one full point higher. That point comes off of Team China's total score. The pressure valve gets turned up to max on the Chinese team, all their athletes and the coaches. The American women make their move to the uneven bars next. Farmers Insurance to find it. So after the first rotation, the United States finds themselves trailing Russia by .225. Next up for Sean Johnson and company, the uneven bars in Stuttgart. USA Gymnastics fans, you can win a trip for two to next year's Olympic trials in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Simply text your answer to the following question to 8808, and you can do that up to 10 times a day and be entered for your chance to win. The question is, who was the first U.S. female to win a world all-around title? A, Mary Lou Retton, B, Kim Zemeskel, C, Nastia Liukin. Again, text your answer to 8808 up to 10 times a day on your AT&T wireless phone for a chance to win the ultimate USA Gymnastic experience, courtesy of AT&T. Al Troutwick, Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel back with you. Stuttgart, Germany, the place for the 2007 World Gymnastics Championships presented by AT&T. Now to the star of the United States, and we're going to get a real sense of what this World Championships is going to be like for the United States in the next few minutes. And as we have said, she has won everything nationally, internationally that she's entered. But this is the biggest thing she's Oh, entered. gosh, yeah. No question about it. And this is where she had her only mistake in the qualifying round, and it came on the dismount. Had she have made the dismount, she would have been leading the all-around. Transition to the low bar. Told us after day one that she just didn't go hard enough. Got to kick my feet up. And she does it perfectly there. Was that a total stick? No, it, not a total stick, but hey, heck, when you do a double twisting, double layout from the uneven bars, you put it to your feet, you're doing pretty good. It really was very unusual to see her have that error. And, you know, Bars has been one of the events that Sean you know, hasn't been extremely great at, but her form is good. This is the highlight, obviously, the double-twisting, double layout. And when she said she needed a little more umph, she gave it all right there. Funny watching that hug shot. She gets a 15.375. Alicia Sacramone is already in college at Brown University, and Sean Johnson's not even thinking about <laughs> where she's going to go to college yet. Here's Shayla Worley from Orlando, Florida. She had a great birthday gift. Her 17th day came on the women's qualifying. Did a great job for Team USA. It has had such a very difficult year battling with injuries. Every time she got a little bit more healthy, something came up again and just knocked her back down, but she is on track now. And very pleased about it, certainly. Yeah, I'm really impressed with her mental state because after missing the World Championships last year because of injuries, this is really her moment to show Marta Caroli what she's all about on this international stage. Actually struggled on her dismount day one, too, but nice landing, just the step. Another strong routine for Team USA. 
And Al, to be honest, this USA team, they don't need to be perfect. N not at all. They are that good. They just need to not have disasters to come away with this world title. This is Catalina Ponor of Romania. She has essentially, what, come out of retirement? She has, and uh, it, it's amazing to me because uh, the past Romanian uh, Federation would never have allowed her to do what she's doing. They have always trained together in, in this town called Deva, and they did everything together. She is such a star, though. She lives in Bucharest, and she said, I'm not going to go to Deva. I'm still good enough to be part of this team, but I'm going to stay in Bucharest. And she actually convinced one of the head coaches from the past regime. Oops, small mistake there, and that'll cost. She convinced Marianne Bitang to come out of retirement as well to coach her. Right, and Mariana is carrying two jobs. Not only is she spending time with her in the gym, but she's also a presidential advisor on sports-related issues for the country. So she's, uh, she's a busy lady. And this is not a great routine for Catalina. She's opened up the door a number of times with a lot of balance checks. in 2004. This was a gold medal event for her. And she is a little bit over time. We're seeing this a lot. The athletes have to jam stuff in their routines. And then she rush makes position. it just barely. Definitely not the same effort that we saw from her in the qualification day. That was an unbelievable routine. This one had quite a few mistakes. Well, maybe the same effort, just not the same results, right? Not the same result. We'll get to uh, Shayla Worley's score, 15.575. That's a good number today for the United States. Now up on the big screen and on the uneven bars, Nastia Liukin. That's a great shot. And I'll tell you, just a few short weeks ago, we saw her really struggle at the national championships. She looked fantastic in day one, told us that she just didn't have enough time. That was all there was to it. Didn't have enough time in preparation for the nationals. And what a difference a few weeks has actually made in her overall performance. I almost thought that it took the World Championships to get the real Nastia Liukin to come out. She has battled with an ankle injury for almost a year. Been extremely frustrating for her. And she said after day one, I, I, I feel like myself again. I feel like Nastia Liukin. This unbelievable, gigantic routine from Nastia Liukin. Gigantic. What a difference a few weeks makes. Gets a hug from coach and dad, Valeri Liukin, and when you get a hug from Marta Caroli, it's good news. Yeah, it's like new life for her here in Stuttgart. She was just on fire in day one this routine it doesn't get much better than this this is one of the highest start values in the world and her positions are perfect there is not much you can take away from this routine and this dismount here a double front with a half turn spots the ground bam the half turn comes about six feet above the ground and that is the highest score given to anyone yet in these world championships you had a 87. This is the home of the car. And now the United States finds themselves on the beam where many a lead has died. But right now they have the lead on the strength of Nastia Liukin's huge score. The United States in front of Russia, Alicia Sacramoni. And you know, she's a very emotional young lady and I asked her to sum up what it was like competing in the world and she said, well, I thought I was going to throw up, but I... But I was able to, to get it all together, and she really did a tremendous, has been doing a phenomenal job at these World Championships. Well, Tim, she has to be confident in what she's done prior to these Worlds. She had two solid beam routines at the National Championships, which has in the past been very difficult for Alicia to put together. Plus the qualification day, a rock-solid beam routine. And that's why she's up in this competition with this three-up, three-count rule. Now, the one thing you wonder about with Alicia is that next year, when the Olympics roll around, she'll be about 20. And that's, that's pretty old in this sport. 
it certainly makes it a lot more challenging and obviously the injury factor becomes paramount she had surgery on her knee last december took a long time to come back from that also had a very difficult year went to brown competed for brown and maintained elite level gymnastics said it was a lot harder than she thought it was going to be comes the dismount two back handsprings to a double pike another great routine from alicia sacrimony it's a hit let's see if it's a hit with the judges in a moment <laughs> hey, baby. And I'll tell you, this USA team in day one was, was spectacular on the balance beam. They had four of the top eight scores in the world. Now, only two athletes can move on to the individual event finals per country, but they should have had four. And they started on balance beam. On the floor is where the Romanians are right now. This is Daniela Drinsea. We're seeing a trend in women's floor exercise where there's a lot of tumbling, up to five tumbling passes. I have to say, wasn't very inspiring. The best part of the routine was the tumbling, but really where she needs to grow is in the artistry because that's the other half of the routine. You can't forget about showing it off. Choreography. And she gets a low 14.375 very low on floor exercise and i'll tell you it, this is our first look at floor in the team finals floor in the qualifying was so strictly uh judged it was amazing saw that 15.6 for alicia sacrimony now back to nasty you can remember she uh, had the highest score awarded to anyone on the uneven bars now we'll see if she can keep it going on the beam well alicia 15 6 you know what this does for her routine it's a beautiful setup because Nastia is capable of scoring in the low 16s. Well, when you're a former world champion, you're usually capable of that. 2005 is the gold medalist on this event. And has struggled with that, but not there. Beautifully done. Aerial. Not one of our favorites because of the bent knees, but it surely is a popular move here. We're seeing it a lot in combination. Nasia makes everything look pretty though, I have to say. I mean, look at the look at the artistry from what we just saw on the floor exercise. I'm watching her feeling like she's on the floor, and this is just, you know, what she does so well, and she gets rewarded for her choreography. It really is remarkable. Just a few weeks ago, her and her father looked confused, like they just couldn't figure out what was going wrong, and it's just a matter of time, I guess, for them to get it right. Well, he said that he had to push her and knew that it was the only way to be prepared for this event, but she was, she was very, very tired. 
Well, uh, unbelievable. That that is a gigantic, gigantic mistake. I was just gonna say this routine looked fabulous up until this dismount. It was better than the first day. What went wrong? Well, watch her post foot right here. It'll slide off the beam. And that is a major mistake, but making it, at the end, a major save. It'll cost her six-tenths of a point in start value. Well, she's feeling a little down right now, but this is the team final. She's got a great teammate to help pick her up, Sean Johnson, next. Monday on Shock. It's pretty easy to see what's on the mind of Sean Johnson. Her twice-national champion teammate has just had a major mistake on the beam. It costs Nastia Liukin. She gets a 15.1 and change. And now the United States trying to hold on to the lead in this World Championships needs Sean Johnson to come up big time. Remember, in the team finals, it's three up, three count. So every mistake... Uh-oh. Oh! I have never, un ever seen her fall on that move before. Unbelievable. You know, it is funny. This is an individual sport, let's face it. Train individually, and then all of a sudden, a few times a year, you gather as a team, and you have coaches who coach the team. Some people are used to being individuals and not performing in a team concept. A little wobble. Well, and this young lady is used to being perfect every time out, so this is really going to be interesting to see how she finishes this routine. There's still one apparatus left. There's still, there's still a lot to go in this routine. Very uncharacteristic, though. Like Elfie said, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen her fall on that. Certainly, it, it's amazing. Well, not in competition. Not at this level. You know, I said it, that the USA, basically, if they just went through cleanly, there's no way, even if somebody else has a great day, that they're going to lose. And I had thought, coming in, they could have one major mistake, but frankly, I don't know about having two major errors. Well, now it's a matter of math. How much damage has been done here in these two beam routines? won easily in the qualifying round, but in that competition, you are allowed to drop a score. Essentially, we've never seen Sean Johnson look like this. We've, we've never seen that right there. Totally off balance. And remember, the new scoring, more than a 10 you can achieve, but the deductions are more stringent too. Eight tenths are coming off that beam. This is probably, this routine will most likely score a point less than it did in the qualifying round. Oh, it's time to ponder as Sean Johnson gets hit and hit hard, 15.025. We'll check the standings and see if the United States remains in first place after this on NBC. The American women and the lead they held is vulnerable now. We will see what the other nations do to take advantage of the scores that were not as high as Nastya Lyukin and Sean Johnson would have liked. Here's Elena Zamolachikova of Russia. And out of bounds. He has some titles, but they happened a long time ago. 2000 Olympic Games champion on floor exercise and the vault. But one thing that has been really nice to see from Elena is that we've been giving her the new nickname, Happy Girl, because we've actually never seen her so happy at her gymnastics and just really looking at ease and everything that she's been doing here. It's nice to see. Tim, come on, admit it. When you saw that she was on the Russian team, you couldn't believe it. I, could, I, I couldn't, actually. And, and, and frankly, it was because I... I, I didn't want to see this sad person out on the floor, but she, as Elfie said, she has been she has been a changed person. She injured herself, was in the hospital, told us that while she was there, she made a commitment that she would come back, she would compete again for Russia at the Olympic Games, and she said, I'm going to be happy. She's 24 years of age, and this is a sport for teenagers. Well, and she really believes she can help this team. She said, I'm going to do every little bit that I can. She said, I'm not a mother yet. She doesn't feel old at all.
Elena Zamalatsakova. I don't know if Russia took big time advantage of the United States there. We'll have to wait and see. Here's Li Shanshan, 15 years old from China. Now, this is the team that can threaten. There's no question about it. At the last World Championships in Denmark, the USA team won easily in day one, but then had mistakes, and China was right there with a great competition. It only takes 12 routines in the women's team finals, 12 hit routines, and if a squad like the Americans falters, it's certainly this team will be right there. And at this point, I don't think the gold medalist is going to be 12 for 12. China struggled early, then they settled things down. They're in the mix. The United States with a couple of mistakes. This is a team that can post some very high scores, like we saw in the qualification on this event. They have start values as high as 7.1. And as we mentioned, the artistry side of the score, which you can score up to a 10. That's the only way you can these days. Yeah, this is a jam-packed routine, and she, she works so elegantly on the balance beam. Beautiful body lines, excellent knees, toes, and beautiful extension. Throws her head back on that lead, makes it even more difficult. And Elfie, I guess it's very easy to say, and I think it would be almost 100% accurate. There is absolutely zero chance that the Chinese would have a 24-year-old on their team. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen. This is a big routine. Yeah, big score coming up. This is her world championship debut. She had the highest qualifying score with a 16-325. It should be right in that same area. United States women looking a little uncomfortable as they watch this all unfold. This was pretty nice. I was impressed with, you know, being so young. I, I was impressed with her focus on the beam and just, you know, the variety of skills that she has in this exercise. Very, very difficult skills. But done with, you know, a lot of, you know, very sure of her, of herself. Look at that, 16.275. Boy, that is right up there with one of the best scores we have seen today. Not the highest, but right there. Here's Xiao Xia, another 15-year-old. Beautiful beam worker, but really struggled. Had two falls in the preliminary competition, and... I was a little bit surprised <laughs> yeah, I was that, say. that they actually chose to use her. They're gambling because she's here to do balance beam. She is known in her country as a great, great balance beam worker, and they're counting on this competition. But they have another worker that can certainly come close to 16 points. She only managed to scrape 14.65. Certainly, she has more potential than that. Every Chinese gymnast seems to throw that skill. It's named after one of their very famous gymnast, Yang Bo. Hear the signal that it is time to get off the balance beam. No one has come in under time, that's for sure. <laughs> they are trying to pack in a lot of skills in a very short amount of time. Another strong routine for the Chinese. This could almost be the equivalent of coming back from 20 points down. I mean, China looked awful when this day started. So it's all smiles there. Meanwhile, for the United States, one event to come. It's the floor exercise. It is time to huddle up.
Team USA. I mean, if we were really aggressive, we'd beat each other up. Why not beat everybody else, too? Right, if we got it. Marta Caroli, your job is in danger. Alicia Sacramoni firing up the gang as they head to the floor exercise at the World Championships. It's going to be hard to read the Chinese women here at the World Gymnastics Championships delivered by AT&T. After the third rotation, they had jumped in front of the United States by one-tenth. Alicia Sacramoni did an unbelievable job of rallying the team. She said, forget what happened on the beam. I know we had two bad performances, but we own the floor. Well, now she's in her own private world, and she will be the anchor on the United States effort on the floor exercise. The Chinese women, who knows what they're thinking, this is Jiang Yi Yong, and the Chinese women have to get a huge score from her because moments ago her teammate, Li Shan Shan, put up a 13.825. I just can't see it, can you? No, it shouldn't happen. They're capable of much more than that. Capable, but they do a lot of hard stuff, too. It's important to note that floor at these world championships has been the lowest scoring event. There were only about five gymnasts from the qualifying that scored in the 15s on floor in the entire meet. Watch this a moment ago. How weird is that for a Katarina Kramarenko? Oh. Unbelievable, incredible. She yeah, runs down, and because she touches the vaulting horse, the table, that means that it's a zero. Now, you can, these young ladies have been competing their entire lives. If she had just run past the horse, she would have been okay. She would have been able to go again. But because she touches the table, it's a zero. That's it. Eight teams in the finals. They were in the hunt for the bronze. They're coming in last. This is unbelievable. It's a nightmare, actually. All she had to do is just run to the side you see it happen all the time but right there is it possible that she didn't know that well i think they're i think the russians at this point are are very flustered their first vaulter did not do what she was supposed to do did an easier vault and she actually struggled in the first day of competition landed very short on it maybe was a little bit tentative and well, look at elena zemelotsikova yeah. the teammate she, she said she was going to smile but there's no smile yeah I'm sure she's got to be thinking, why am I even up here? Well, she said the whole reason for being here, their training, everything was geared towards winning a bronze medal, getting back up on the podium. And that very well could have happened. But that opens the door in a gigantic way for the Romanians. Yeah, I think a medal just flew out the window. Yeah, that's, uh, it's really a shame. And this vault really is a moot point. And, and it, it shouldn't have happened. It, it just, it was a complete mental breakdown on the part of Carmen Yeko, and it, it just should not have happened. All she had to do, like I said, just don't touch, don't touch the table, run by it. And this is not the first time that we have seen Elena Zemelochikova crying in the gym. So the Russians have a meltdown, and she gets a 14.975. This is Chong Fei. And this is a huge routine. She is world champion on floor exercise. Double twisting, double somersault in her first pass. Gigantic.
Well, this really has to ease the pressure on the United States now. They know they're going to medal. No question, but it, the color is very important. going to get a big score. Polished routine, great artistry, great acrobatics. Shen Fei. Well, they're putting it out there for the USA team. You know, it's ironic. She's the anchor, as you said, Elfie. But if she had just done what she was capable of doing on her first event, China would have been in the lead by over a point. Chinese gets the score they absolutely had to have a 15.425. But the words of Alicia Sacramoni ring true. Forget about the balance beam. We can dominate floor, and certainly the Chinese women have reopened the door of golden opportunity for the United States. Nastia Liukina smiled, perhaps knowing that she's not one of the three who will perform on the floor exercise, but the United States women have to like their chances. Oh, very much so. They basically put their, their tumbling passes to their feet, and they will be the world champions. When we come back, first it's Shayla Worley, then it's Sean Johnson. Alicia Sacramoni hopes to be the anchor. As an athlete, this is all you can hope for. You put yourself in a position where you can win. And the American women, all three, and all scores count, need to average a 14.791 to give Marta Caroli the recognition for another gold medal at an event like this, the World Championship of Gymnastics. she landed did the skill very well she could give the judges reason to take a tenth or a half a tenth that was one of the best landings of the routine not going to bring in a giant score but i think it's certainly going to be enough to keep them in contention well tim they needed to average a 14.7 and that is not enough well they needed to average that but the next two performers they have sean johnson and alicia sacrimony they are no question about it they're stronger on floor than shayla worley so it's it not time to panic for team usa that's for sure
best forward team we've seen so far, and it's not even close. It was great. She listened to Mother Alicia. One more to go. Sean Johnson. Giant routine, start to finish. Begins with a double twisting, double somersault. Routine is jam packed. Finishes with a beautiful double pike somersault. Perfect landing. She's a fighter, I'll tell you. And these judges are very tough. They've given Sean Johnson a 15.375. How about that? You know what? They, the entire world championships, they have been so strict on floor exercise. That, that's probably the third highest score uh, uh, of this entire event. Okay, now here's Alicia Sacramone. All she has to do is be okay. A 14.375 for the gold medal. Land on her feet. That's it. Johnson, Alicia Sacramone, take your gold medal back to Providence, Rhode Island. Alicia Sacramone. She was busting to get out on that floor exercise and show everyone what she can do. And, you know, what a great position for her to anchor this team. Powerful, explosive. It was quite entertaining. Well, you know, it's ironic because she was never the one that was the rock mentally, but she has just grown into this position. That's it. say in gymnastics but right now it feels like it's an American dynasty the success has gone on now for more than just one world championships and one Olympics China get in contact with her coach Mihai there it had a how about the relationship these two have had yeah well that's grown as well <laughs> they had some rocky times but she has stuck with him and vice versa and she's believed in him. And the reason it's so emotional is that they were riding so high. Then there was that big hiccup on the balance beam. And then the recovery. And Alicia Sacramone backs up her words. When we come back. Alicia Sacramone and Sean Johnson try to put it into words. Once again, USA Gymnastics fans, you a day of celebration for the American women. They have won the World Gymnastics Gold Medal. We go down to the floor for Elfie Schlegel.
Alicia, did you know that your floor score was big enough to win the gold medal? Yeah, I knew. Every, a lot was riding on that last routine. And, you know, I just tried not to think about it. I was like, all right, one more routine. Just go out there, have fun. That's when you do your best. So that's what I did. Problems for the United States on balance beam. Alicia, what did you say to the team to turn them around? You know, I told them, I was like, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Like, China made mistakes and other countries made mistakes too. So I just told them, I was like, you guys got to turn the page, forget about it, and keep moving. We have one more event, and it's one of our best events. So go out there and have fun. And just another win for Sean Johnson from Iowa. The kid does not know how to lose. Back to Elfie Slagle. Sean, we rarely see you make mistakes. We've watched you at many events. So what, what happened on balance beam? Um, well, during warm-up, I made the mistake again, and I think I was just doubting myself, just not really having the confidence and stuff. But um, after, it just, I said to myself, I mean, you make mistakes, everybody does, and I can get it back on the floor. And I went out there, and I just gave it my all. So. Did anybody say something specifically to you, your coach, one of your team members, before floor? Because you had a pretty big smile out there. Um, we had a team conference, kind of, and we just said, this is it. We both made mistakes. We make mistakes, and um, we're not even a tenth behind. So this is our event. Go out there and show the world that we, we deserve it. We've been working so hard for it. You're world champions. How does it feel for your first time out on that big stage? Um, it's so overwhelming just because to know that you're a world champion and part of that team, it just it's such an honor. And um, we've been working so hard for so long, and to finally have the title, it's just it's an amazing feeling. Back to you, Al. Those 15-year waits are killers. A major success for the United States. They win the gold just about a point ahead of China and then Romania for bronze. When we come back, the all-around competition.